My name is Nadelta. I am one of the children from the orphanage called Home of the Children of Jesus. I was eight years old when I ended up here. Before I came to the orphanage, I had some hard times. Some days we didn't have enough to eat. Sometimes we would spend all of our money without eating anything, and then at night we would steal something. So it was very difficult at home for me. Nadelta came to the orphanage when she was a little girl. The day I met her, her mother was crying in the street. She explained her situation to me, so I offered my help and took Nadelta into the orphanage. I was very happy because it was the first day that Madame Soliette started with the orphanage. She had a feast and invited all the children to come. It was very difficult at the beginning. I would often pray to God because it was he who planted the idea of starting the orphanage into my heart. I started with 20 children, now I have 75. As you would expect, I do a lot to take care of 75 children. We don't always have money to pay ourselves as the orphanage staff, but I'm not discouraged because I enjoy what I do. I want this orphanage to be a success because I want my dream for the children to become a reality. About 10 months after the massive earthquake in Haiti, I read an article about how many Haitian children had become vulnerable and exposed to trafficking and that the earthquake had made orphans out of so many children. It wasn't long after I, I felt that I really had to go to Haiti myself and see what I could learn about how we could get involved in some meaningful way of reducing the exposure and the vulnerability of at least some of these children. In January of 2011 was the chance I got to meet Madame Soliette and the orphans that she takes care of. To that date, I had never met anybody like Madame Soliette that I felt embodied God's heart for orphans as she did with her life, the way that she's committed herself to these kids. She is, in my mind, the line of defense between these kids having a life of exposure and vulnerability and these 75 kids having a chance for a future and a hope because they've been loved and kept safe. It seems imperative to me that we help her succeed for that reason. From that point forward, it really came down to me gaining an understanding of, of what they were up against. What, what were the challenges that she faced? And when I saw the house that these kids were living in, it was a multiple story concrete construction, same kind of construction that was responsible for so many deaths in the earthquake. No running water, no electricity, two toilets in the whole house for adult staff and 75 kids, no outdoor space to play in that was proper. They have a makeshift kitchen in one of the rooms of the house where they have an open fire so the walls are burnt. And it just became really apparent that their living conditions were the first thing we had to try to do something about. That's when we started to dream together with Madame Soliette and talk about what kind of housing would be really great. Talking about housing pods where eight to 10 children would live with a house mom or a house parent, have more of a family feel, a school building, give the children more room to play, we even have enough space for them to grow food to help them be more self-sustaining with regards to their food needs. Then we just started calling this project Children's Village because it had more to it than just housing. That very quickly turned into an opportunity to purchase nearly four acres I'm ready to be in the new orphanage because we will have a big yard to play in. I want to plant flowers, bright, beautiful ones. The children's village, the dream for it, is really more than uh, about blocks and, and buildings. It has more to do with giving these kids an opportunity to experience a full life and having the appropriate outdoor space and the ability to learn some vocational skills for themselves as they grow older. The opportunity to have a, a great school environment. Madame Soliette's amazingly committed to their education. And really, if you start to talk to Madame Soliette about her vision for the kids, it has way more to do than surviving. It is for that reason I live with them like a mother would. There is no difference between the orphans and my own children to me. They are all my children, and I want them to become good men and good women. Okipe itself is a Haitian Creole word, and it means to look after, and it's inspired out of few Bible verses that talk about pure religion before our Father is to look after orphans and widows. Okipe just captures the heart of that, that we want to help Madame Soliette look after these kids. It's just a relational cooperative. It's not a business, not a legal entity of any kind. It doesn't have a bank account or employees or assets. It's something that you really can get involved in, whether it's a five or ten dollar donation or a five or ten thousand dollar donation. Whether it's bringing a team of people from your family or some group that you're involved in at home and coming to get involved in the construction. 
following along with the progress on the website. These are all ways that you can be a part of this project and know that your donation or your contribution as you get involved with us in Equipe is actually accomplishing what it is that you had in mind for it to accomplish. What's so exciting to me about this project is it's truly grassroots. When you can take your family and go out and visit and see the progress, you can meet Madame Soli and the kids. And I think that you should. I have done that, it's changed my life, and I know so many people have so enjoyed and appreciate being able to go there and be a part of that. We're looking for individuals to help spread the story and to get involved in the fundraising effort. On the website, there's actually a place you can go to, one of the tabs across the top of the page that says Grassroots. And when you look into that link, you'll see that we've provided some things to equip anybody who's interested in becoming a grassroots fundraiser. So I really want to encourage you to look into that. We've divided into two categories, project-related expenses, having to do with the Children's Village, and then operational-related expenses. The operational-related expenses are things like food and paying the rent for the house that they're in right now, providing uh, medical treatment when they need it, and clothing and things of that nature. When you go to the website, it's called Join the Village. It's because we really wanted to, to really identify with the needs of all 75 kids rather than just one over another. This is the vision I have for the young ones to bring change to the children of Lagonave. I want to become a teacher because in my country there are many children who do not know how to read or write. With love, you truly can bring change.